Jenny Lim is a market information analyst at Meat and Livestock Australia. Jenny, how are you going today? Good, thank you. How are you? Uh, look, I'm all right. Uh, let's start talking sheep first of all. Uh, what are growers intending to do when it comes to, uh, I guess, when they're going to take their sheep to market? Yeah, so we've had um, the latest sheep producer intention survey come out on Monday and that has shown that 51% of producers actually sold fewer lambs than expected at the end of 2022 Um, and that has led into an increase in expected sales um, coming into the new year. So, um, you know, we can only expect more lambs to hit the market even though we have seen increasing yarding in, in the last few weeks. And what have we actually seen in terms of pricing for our sheep producers, particularly those in the southeastern part of Australia? So we have seen some softening in prices. I don't think that's um, surprising to anyone considering the numbers that are on on offer. Um, we're seeing buyers being a little bit more selective in what they what they pick and choose. They can, you know, sift through the good quality and the bad quality. And so those um, lambs with weight and with good conditioning um, seem to be going for a premium, whereas the ones that maybe don't have the weight on them um, are going for a discount. Yep. Well, I guess that that tells you that there was always this sort of activity going to happen. I don't know if you call it a correction in the market. We had some pretty high prices, but I think as we start looking across to cattle, we're sort of almost on parity, aren't we, on prices now? Yeah, I think it's um, obviously it's difficult to compare with um, last year, end of end of 2021, beginning of 2022, when you were having record prices week on week. Um, you know, there's there's some price fatigue out there from buyers and obviously suppliers coming onto the market. Um, we're also seeing some easing in restocker sentiment in those southern states like New South Wales and Victoria um, in our restocker indicators. Um, but prices are still strong in Queensland. So, um, you know, that that second wave of the, of the rebuild that we saw in 2020 through to 2022 um, is definitely coming through in the pricing at the moment. Well, we'll sew together the cattle and sheep in a moment and can move across to cattle, but as a unifying topic, how are we seeing things moving on the processing front in both of those sectors? I think it's actually surprising, um, you know, from the survey that I mentioned before, we actually saw only 6% um, attributing processor availability and capacity as a reasoning for holding back those lamb sales in 2022. I think in the small stocks such as um, sheep and lambs and goats, um, it's much easier for processors to um, increase their capacity um, depending on supply. So um, a lot more automation in the processing sector there, so they're able to um, change how much they're processing week on week depending on the supply and maintain those levels and that's definitely what we're seeing in slaughter at the moment. Yeah that's good news given there were some concerns being expressed about labour supply but as you say maybe the processes just went for more automation as we we like to look at the automated information at MLA's website uh, when it comes to the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator as well. Can you give us a heads up on just how that indicator is travelling? Yeah so at the moment the ECI is obviously a good indication. Um, Like I said before um, you know, the prices in the north in terms of, you know, um, southeast Queensland are definitely stronger in all of the indicators and especially the ECI. I think we're seeing a softening in the, you know, southern states. There's, it's a little bit difficult for um, cattle in terms of processing because the weights we've seen coming through the market have been so much heavier. It's difficult for, um, you know, it takes so much more labour to um, process that cow whereas um, in the sheep game they're all pretty uniform in weight you know within a a couple of kilos um, between light and heavy. Yep and but the price is certainly nowhere near those heady heights we were seeing uh, even 12 months ago but this was the correction a lot of people were saying was going to happen. Yeah again pricing fatigue um, we saw record prices also this time last year we had um, some flooding across northern New South Wales and southern Queensland and that tightened supply, especially in the Ecke. So, um, you know, that was bound to put some pricing pressures and, and support those high prices. Now we're having, you know, big yarding, um, people are selling off the restocking demand and, and the young cattle um, demand is just not, not there anymore. Um, you know, not, not not there, but in some states people are just easing off that um that buying pressure, especially with the dry conditions expecting to come in the next 12 months. Yes, there's a good point you make. Jenny Lim is the Marketing Information Analyst at Meat and Livestock Australia. Been great to have you join us today to update us on what's happening in cattle and sheep. Thank you.